my beautiful viewers gonna be starting a new series clip reviews be sending me a clip if it's funny it's funny if you want me to break it down i'll break it down everybody's sending me their clips on discord all you gotta do is click the link in the description or my bio on youtube or twitch my links everywhere it's not hard to find send your clip in clips to analyze channel on my discord and i'll go through it live on twitch this channel is also a place where you guys can go through your clips live to get it analyze it cross analyze it whatever you want to do it's a place to talk about your own clips things that you could have done better etc i'm usually going over clips at the start of my stream so hit the follow button get notified when i go live put your clip in the discord and you could watch me break it down live on twitch but yeah something different hopefully you enjoy it and put your clip in the discord time Pop a PK and jump off, no balls. Yo, this, this is some uh, unique builds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, you got a little alien optic. You got tan rear and front sights, iron sights. No suppressor. Okay. See, this is the look of, like, what the f did I just do? I feel it, bro. I'm gonna break it down and talk about it. So, I know what you're thinking. I know what you look like. I can see you through your own monitor. All right, you have a look. I can see the numbers calculating. Should I jump off right now? I'm at the, my, I'm at the right trajectory. You are, brother. Relax. Pop a PK. Why the f would you do it without PK? FPS 200, resolution 60. Tell me that's your teammate, right? This is exactly why I don't play duos, bro. Why don't? Why would a blueberry follow you down? Get him off your team. Talk to me nice, man. Yeah, oh, ooh, 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 I know your mouth is watering. The legs? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You repeat the set. What is, th what in paid actors is this? What the f These are eBay players. Left hand shoulder clearing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Isn't that a mannequin, bro? Oh, it's a guy. Wait, it's a nigga role playing as a mannequin. You're lying, right? He's role playing as a mannequin. Bro, I've never seen somebody up here. You gotta include your voice, man. Let me hear this shit talking. You see, it's the same thing. We've seen the situation a couple of times where people just hold shit with the flashlight on. You know exactly where he's going to be, so jiggle the corner, bait his ammo. But if he's holding the angle right here, tight, like a tight-ass angle, you can just run across. But the shadow of the railing is on the wall, so maybe he's holding an angle wide. I got a clip that shows exactly what I'm talking about. So look, same thing. I'm just gonna give you the context real quick. Two people, one's down at the ends, one's in the bathroom. Because I can tell where he is due to his flashlight, he's holding the angle tight. So if I run across, I'm gonna enter his line of sight for a second, and then right here is gonna be my little safe zone to fight the one-on-one. -on -one. I'm running across, full momentum. He's not gonna kill me because his line of sight is so tight. Right? You understand what I'm saying? About a line of sight. Got some of these in black. Come on, boys. Put the fucking lead in them. Yo, is the audio just like shit in this room? The occlusion zones must be just dog shit in here. Because this guy was clueless when he ran across. He voice lines ran across and he still knows deep on some loot. Shit, maybe the audio is crystal clear, but he just found a lead X and he just stuck it up his ass before he died. Fuck you, motherfucker! It doesn't... All right. You don't look comfortable doing this at all. Fuck you, motherfucker! Looks awkward for you. But you still get the kill though. You kind of put this guy in a blender low key by just running back and forth. Tag device on way too early. Reload, pop a PK, bro. Deep. 
<laughs> You're leaving your tag device on. You poopy caca. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> you poopy caca. I need a translator. You just say Pikachu? <laughs> Wait, yeah, you cut this guy with his pants down, Loki. You know why he probably died too, and I'm willing to put money on it. When people start animations, if they're to if they're at the last bit of that animation, they typically want the animation to play out because they're so close to finishing it. They don't actually cancel it. So you see me do that sometimes. I heard somebody pull out their CMS, but I didn't push as soon as I heard them pull out the CMS. I waited until the last maybe three seconds of the animation. So they think they thought they could finish it before I pushed up. I don't know. It's just way. It's just the way people think. A little psychological thing. I don't know what the f you said back here though. Hold on. You poop peacocka. You peep peacock. I probably shouldn't even repeat that, but I probably just cursed myself. An interchange clip. That's interesting. Let's see interchange. What happens over here on this side of the map? Get an Ash twelve. Before. Oh, you, oh, you going for killer? Okay. Before we. Uh, Say anything. Where your meds at? You got a grizzly in your in your ass. This is a, this is a, this is an unnecessary reload, sir. Jump jump shoot him, motherfucker! Jump shoot him. Okay, yo, you know interchange is bad when you bring a thick ass kit, but you have meds bounded in your fucking kappa case. I was gonna say this is an unnecessary reload, but you're actually a lunatic because you're bringing 10 rounders with an Ash 12, which is criminal, by the way. 100% I'm reporting you to the police after this one. Nice. One natty underscore gifted one subscriptions to the community. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Shoot the light behind you. Well, you heard me say shoot the light out behind you. Everybody's gonna be holding an angle on one of the pillars, right? So it's kind of like your angle versus, it's basically like a peak battle. 1v1, shoot it like a 1v1. I'm gonna shoot the lights out. For one, make it harder for him to see my silhouette. And then another thing is, it tells the other players subconsciously that you know what you're doing. If you're fighting me and I shoot lights out and I jump around corners and I do all this extra shit, you're gonna, subconsciously, you're gonna give me more respect. Whether you like it or not, you're gonna give me more respect. This first kill, I like it. I really like this kill. The reason I like it so much is because I can see a lot of good players doing the same thing and then dying like this, exactly like this. So if you can punish somebody that I can see doing, that is fine. I like it. Then guy pushes down, cross our placement is a little bit off right there. Running across, he sees you going from left to right, you double back left. I like that. Catch him off guard. He hits a nice little flick at the end, but it's too late, bro. He hits your army, you hit his head. This is outplay right here. One-on-one -on -one outplay. MP7 meta. Okay, okay. First kill, nice. Pop and pain killers will be optimal here. <laughs> Excuse me. You can see it, you can see it better on stream than what I can. 
on my own monitor. free looking this right if somebody was holding an angle on the doorway the way you're gaining information about it is by circle peeking the best peek you can do is running across and free looking instead of exposing yourself to everything if this guy was more ready for you you probably would have been punished you're opening that window up to get shot right kill the first guy that's nice right here i'm gonna be taking painkillers because if there's one there's another one circle peeking out and open it's not a good call if you want to take this fight, you're better off holding an off angle. Again, off angle. Off angle will be nice in this situation. So I want to know what happened here. Did you give him this space? You cut off the clip. You should not be giving this guy that much space. For me, I can tell where the nade was going to go. So I'll just prone behind the sandbag. During this sprint across, you are exposed to the doorway. I'm going to watch the angle that you exposed yourself to because that's what people tend to do. They tend to run away when they see a nade. You're not on painkillers either, so I might hit your leg. But that's in an alternate universe, right? Here's somebody on the outside, he has his flashlight on, and then you kind of just full f***ing send it. I'm guessing you're full sending it because you already got four or something kills. You're confident. I like it, but it's your left hand peak. He has his flashlight turned on. Automatically, you should not win this fight. Something you see me do here, right, is I'll peek out maybe over here. Hold on, let me get a better frame of this. So I'd peek out here, like a little jiggle peek, and then switch over to the, to the other corner and then swing it just to get him focused on one corner and then swing the other one. Now, this part right here was sketch, but I didn't want to talk over it, right? You hear a guy ADS, right? So he's either right here on the staircase or he's on top of the staircase. Because you don't know, there's no point exposing yourself to the angle, him possibly just swinging out and killing you because he hears you to drop your bag in the enemy's territory. All right, just fall back, break line of sight around the door, and then take that fight. And the way you cleared the staircase, again, crosshair placement is non-existent. You're not ready to take that fight. Look at this shit. What are you aiming at, bro? If you are going to fall back here, close the door behind you and then round the corner and here because what's stopping this guy from just swinging out and pushing you so you love challenging left hand peaks you're a little lefty in it good shots personally i wouldn't challenge it but the other guy's aim you can tell he's a little timmy he's got an mp9 or something mp5k 